Our major winter storm continues to blast the entire region. Winter storm warning is in effect, and I'll show you why some areas may pick up two feet of snow. The roads in Lexington are snow covered and only getting worse tonight. We'll have a look at conditions and an update on the city's response. How police in Somerset say they caught a suspected thief who took advantage of the winter storm to steal. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. It is not over yet. A major winter storm continues to slam the bluegrass with heavy snow. And as you can see in this live look from Lexington, the roads are in pretty bad shape tonight. Good evening to you. Governor Bevin has issued a statewide emergency, which gives counties access to state resources, including the National Guard. And it should be tomorrow before the snow even stops. We begin our team coverage of the winter storm with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. He's been here since this morning, and he continues <laughs> with our first alert severe weather day. Yeah, it's been a long week, but you know what? That's what we are here for, my friends. We've been talking about the potential for this massive winter storm to impact our region for the past several days. And here we are dealing with uh, indeed a major winter storm, and in some cases, dropping historic amounts of snow into parts of central and eastern Kentucky. We were noticing a little bit ago that the sky cam was looking a little better. Now, all of a sudden, here in just the past couple of minutes, we're starting to see the visibility come back down. That ceiling is lowering, the clouds are lowering, and the snow is picking back up across Lexington. Hamburg Pavilion in the distance. Somewhere down here, I say somewhere down here in between the fences, Winchester Road. Uh, yeah, good luck in finding the road right now. And uh, you know what? That's the scene across the entire region. Winter storm warning is out through the day on Saturday for all of Kentucky. This includes uh, Paducah, this includes the Lexington area, and includes the Pikeville area. Though I'm seeing now Western Kentucky, as I say, Paducah, they're dropped from this warning as the band of heavy snow works out of Western Kentucky into central and eastern parts of the state. Already reports of anywhere from as little as two or three inches into far northern Kentucky, and in some cases below that there, to as much as 18 inches of snow into sections of central and eastern Kentucky. That's right, already 18 inches of snow on the ground in some areas. It's still snowing. Those are the areas that could be talking about upwards of 24 inches of snow before this wraps up sometime tomorrow. Now, it will wrap up into lighter snows across the western parts of the area overnight. Eastern Kentucky, we're going to keep some light and moderate snows going right on through the day tomorrow as it stands. Now, Lexington reports, we're at 10 inches, a little over here at the station. Reports range from anywhere from 8 to 11 inches of snow all across the city of Lexington. Again, this is our third major winter storm in our region in less than a year. It's now turning into a blizzard across the eastern part of the country. While we're getting gusty winds here across the Bluegrass State, the real deep area of low pressure is cranking here across parts of the Carolinas, mid-Atlantic states. Nation's capital will get hit by the blizzard. And while we have one little low pressure that is weakening here across East Tennessee, what will happen now is that we're still going to get these steady snows through the evening. The back edge of this will get into central Kentucky, put the brakes on, and then later tonight you're going to watch your radars, you're going to watch your apps, you're going to watch us, and we're going to be showing you how the snow's coming in from the east. Going to be something cool to see as you see the snow increasing southern Ohio, West Virginia, then all of a sudden lighter snows to uh, fill back in across central and eastern Kentucky. What we are seeing now, heavier bands of snow. At times today, we had snowfall rates right around two inches every hour. Ground zero, if you will, for the snows today, for the heaviest snows, has been in parts of the area we're looking at. Breathitt County into sections of Owsley County, Lee County, uh, around Beattyville, parts of Wolf County, Morgan County, McGoffin County, up into the uh, Menifee County area and points north from there. That's where we've got 12 to 18 inches of snow on the ground. North of 64, it's not as much, not as deep, but that's the area that may get hit harder later tonight. Lexington Metro, here's that little band of some moderate snows moving back in. It's still coming from southeast to northwest, so we've still got that calm ahead to go through uh, as we go into the next couple of hours. Southern and southeastern Kentucky snows here have tapered off a little bit from the insane numbers we were seeing earlier in the day. But overall, guys, this is a major winter storm that has some more left in the tank tonight and tomorrow. Don't be surprised if we don't pick up another six inches or more 
into parts of eastern Kentucky before this completely wraps up later tomorrow afternoon. We'll walk you through that with a hour by hour radar forecast that will show how the snows instead of coming at us from the south start to come at us from the opposite direction from the east here in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Chris. A serious situation now. We want to give you an update on what's been happening on Interstate 75 in Rockcastle and Laurel counties. The interstate there had been blocked both ways for hours. Kentucky State Police now say the northbound lanes are open. They expect to open the southbound lanes of I-75 soon, but it is still very slow going. State Police say there have been many minor crashes between the 45 and 40, 59 rather, mile markers, and some 18-wheelers blocked the road for hours. Police say the good news, there were not any serious injuries, but certainly huge headaches as people were stuck in their vehicles for hours waiting for help. We have the uh, National Guard helping us out. They have uh, multiple guardsmen out uh, with the wrecker and their Humvees uh, just trying to get stranded uh, vehicles back on the road and get the ones that uh, can't make it off the shoulder of the road. We have multiple fire departments. Uh, we have uh, Laurel County Public Safety helping us out as well. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner just arrived at that scene, and she has more on what's been happening. We just arrived on scene on southbound I-75 where the interstate has been closed for hours. You can see behind me here miles worth of cars that are at a dead stop. We have many, many cars behind us. People wondering what's going on. We have heard reports that some cars are running out of gas miles down the road. According to Kentucky State Police, the northbound direction is open. No one going across there right now. Southbound is expected to reopen, but no idea what time yet in Rock Castle County. Caitlin Sentner, WKYT. Caitlin, thank you. Roads around Lexington have been getting worse as the day goes on. Mike Linden has been tracking road conditions all around the city. He continues our team coverage with the very latest. Mike? Amber, I am on West Vine right now in downtown Lexington where the roads I mean, they, they are getting plowed, but as Chris has continued to touch on, once those roads get plowed, the heavy snow just continuing to fall is making the road conditions uh, that much worse, really. There, there's a lot of heavy, dense, compacted snow at the surface where we've seen quite a few cars spin out. Uh, we had to push somebody out not too long ago. Uh, and, and again, the road conditions only going to get worse as the evening rolls on. Now, earlier this afternoon, Mayor Jim Gray, in a press conference to the city, mentioned that as temperatures drop, the chemicals that the city crews are using to help break down the snow and the ice isn't necessarily going to work as temperatures continue to fall. So keep that in mind. Stay home if you can here over the next 24 hours because these road conditions only going to get worse as more heavy snow continues to pound the bluegrass. In Lexington, Mike Linden, WKYT. Mike, thank you. Now, in Lexington, the mayor says road crews are doing the best they can to fight all that snow. They have been busy. Take a look at this aerial video shot from a drone over Interstate 75 in Lexington this afternoon. At that time, heavy snow was falling and traffic was moving very slowly. This video is near the Winchester Road exit. Now, late this afternoon, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray and other city leaders updated us on the city's response to this winter storm. Miranda Combs joins us now live with the very latest. Miranda? Amber, the response by the city has been quick this year. We can attest to that from being here last year and seeing the city's response. You can tell by these piles behind me. These piles are all down Main Street as they plowed the, the snow off to the side of the road. But as Mike Linden said, is not making much of a difference in regard to the safety on the road. So the best advice is to be very careful if you must be out tonight. Plan not is not to tow, but we are uh, very. Uh, intentional encouragement to get out of the way of the plows. The press conference only lasted a few minutes. Officials seem pleased with the city's response, and really, this isn't new to them. Similar actions were taken just last winter. Mayor Gray commended drivers staying home, keeping accident totals low. But the cold air staying with this storm does cause a slowdown in breaking down the snow on the roads. A specific concern with a UK basketball game scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. But I do not foresee any problems for the ball game tomorrow. At this time, 
We concentrate a lot on downtown hills and whatnot, so uh, it, it is a problem now, but as the snow lets up, it's going to be less of a problem. Photographer Barton Bill and I have been out here on Main Street basically all day, and we've been surprised by the number of cars we're actually seeing in downtown Lexington at least. Best advice again, if you can't stay home, stay home so these road crews can do their work. We are live in Lexington, Miranda Combs, WKYT. All right, some great reporting there by Miranda Combs, who's almost ready to blow away there. Kind of have to <laughs> glad she's her finally tail. got a hat on her head. I know, bless her heart. All right, in Somerset, police have been busy enough responding to crashes and stranded drivers. Unfortunately, they also stopped a man they say took advantage of the bad weather to steal from people. Phil Pendleton joins us live from Somerset to explain what happened. Phil. It has been snowing all day long here, but it actually began this morning as sleet and freezing rain, and that's when it changed over to snow, and it's been snowing pretty much all day ever since. Um, I spent almost 10 years in the Marines. Most of Randall Smith's active duty was overseas in the desert. Today, a much different kind of battle, a much different kind of condition. I was actually a lot. And some V driver in the Marines for a couple of years. Today he's out simply helping people. Try to go forward a little bit. Ready? Go ahead. And go. And go. He's driving up and down U.S. Highway 27. A lot of traffic close through here because of the hospital. While out helping those hampered by the snow, came a much different request. Left of a purse from a vehicle. Told up to find other officers questioning the suspect. The victim's boyfriend says the woman got into their car at the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, oh yeah, when we come up to her, she had the purse open, was digging through the purse. That's what my girlfriend told her, you know, hey, get out of my purse, what are you doing? And she said, I'm sorry, I thought this was my vehicle, I thought that was my purse. And we don't really know a lot about that suspect at this time. We are told that uh, she was taken to the Pulaski County Jail, and she's likely going to be facing felony theft charges because apparently the items in that purse were worth a lot of money. And the people that I talked to say they think that she was simply going up and down cars trying to take advantage of the situation, thinking that police would not respond because they were in doing this kind of weather. Obviously, she got quite the surprise. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Thank you, Phil. The Kentucky Emergency Operations Center in Frankfort has been activated because of all this snow. Kristen Kennedy received an inside look to see how state leaders are dealing with this mess. Governor Bevin has declared a state of emergency, and leaders here at the Emergency Operations Center are continuing to monitor conditions very closely. We're tracking any resource requests and all calls, obviously, through the EOC. The director of Kentucky Emergency Management, Michael Dossett, is working with more than a dozen others inside the EOC to coordinate state response to the state of emergency. Stay off all roadways, stay off interstates, stay off local um, uh, thoroughfares. Our emergency responders throughout the state need to do their work. Emergency crews on I-64 rescued a driver, two passengers, and a dog from a flip truck. Franklin County Fire Chief Kevin Hutcherson is asking drivers to stay home. The way that the snow is coming in, I think people are maybe a little bit uh, uh, deceived of how quick that it gets slick. Okay, the snow is building up, it clears off, and then it builds up so quick that uh, people are surprised and end up uh, making mistakes. If, if they can stay at home, by all means, uh, that's what they should do. Leaders here at the EOC are meeting and briefing on conditions every two hours. In Frankfurt, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. And we hope you'll stay on top of the snow and traffic with us with WKYT Weather Plus Traffic app. You can download it for free in the app or Google Play stores. Emergency managers in Madison County are also telling people to stay home tonight. Look at the roads there in 10 minutes. Our major winter storm continues across central and eastern Kentucky. Up next, we will track the snows that come later tonight from a different direction. I'll show you why that is with a new hour by hour forecast in a moment. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. 
During Quantrill Cadillac's winter sales event, lease a new 2016 SRX equipped with luxury package, sunroof, leather heated memory seats, and much more for only $4.51 per month. You really can afford America's most luxurious crossover at Quantrill Cadillac. Unclaimed freight notice this weekend at American Freight. Over 1,000 truckloads of living room furniture. Seven piece living room groups that include a sofa, love seat, coffee table, two end tables, and two designer lamps. You get all seven pieces from only $398 complete. Free layaway till tax refund. Same day delivery. Come to the Looney Docks this weekend only at American Freight in Lexington, 272 West New Circle Road, next to Walmart, across from Jalapenos. Phone 226 0008. Are you planting a tree? Are you digging a garden? Are you digging a swimming pool? Are you putting up a mailbox? Always call 811 before you dig. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. Columbia Gas of Kentucky. Stop paying high electric bills. Call Eastern Airflow and upgrade to a new energy efficient Timstar heating system. With offices in Richmond and Prestonsburg, we serve all central and eastern Kentucky. We now offer in-house financing for Timstar systems. If your vehicle has been in an accident, you have the right to choose your collision center. Tell your insurance company you want to take it to Fortune. Fortune Collision Center, 1-800-506-9322. Fortune Collision Center works with all insurance companies. We'll contact your insurance company and get an estimate. With five Central Kentucky locations, call 1-800-506-9322 or click on fortunecollision.com. Remember, when your insurance company asks where you want to take your vehicle, tell them you want to take it to Fortune. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. During Quantrill Cadillac's winter sales event, lease a new 2016 SRX equipped with luxury package, sunroof, leather heated memory seats, and much more for only $4.51 per month. You really can afford America's most luxurious crossover at Quantrell Cadillac. It's WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day. What a day it has been, and it still is across central and eastern Kentucky. Snow's out there uh, today, really cranking across the entire area, and we're nearing a foot and a half of snow and likely exceeding that into parts of eastern Kentucky. Live sky cam as of now, we can actually see Hamburg Pavilion. That's a bit of an improvement. How about that? We can't see Winchester Road, though, out in front of the station. Baby steps. You got to give the road crew some time. I mean, bless their hearts. They have been out there fighting this, fighting the winds, fighting the snow rates that have been one to two inches per hour in a lot of areas. Mountain Parkway. You can try, you can see where a plow's been through there, but as quickly as a plow goes through, you get more snow to fall on top of that. Here is our winter storm warning that continues into early tomorrow for central and eastern Kentucky. Those snowfall numbers uh, proving to be pretty good that we put out two days ago. When we had a swath of 8 to 14 inches across most of this area, yeah, we're coming in a little above that into parts of eastern Kentucky. But overall, the theme of that forecast was dead on. Light amounts in the far north, heavier amounts across central and eastern Kentucky. And we're going to add to those totals. Eastern Kentucky, there's a chance that before this is over, tomorrow you're going to have roughly 20 to 24 inches of snow on the ground. How about that? Washington, D.C. says, you know what? We'll do that even better. We may put 24 to 30 inches on the ground into parts of our nation's capital with a big blizzard. But that same storm that is cranking to our east is going to actually funnel moisture into Kentucky. Right now, it is still coming at us from the north around that little wave of low pressure that's now into East Tennessee. So we'll continue to hang on to some snows here across the entire area. Mountain Parkway corridor to I-64 in northeastern Kentucky. You're going to get the heaviest snows. A little bit of a break right now, Georgetown. But here's another little band of some snow that is working on into town. Southern Kentucky, the numbers here staggering in terms of the ice and the snows as well. Parts of Pulaski County into uh, London, greater than a foot of snow today. Southeastern Kentucky, we've been fighting that mix on and off through the day. That future radar. We'll show the back edge of the snow line progressing by 11 o'clock to the Louisville area. But then look what happens. By 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, notice how this line tries to back to the west a little bit. So then you're going to focus your attention on what's coming from the east and the northeast. That would be some more snows across central and eastern Kentucky. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell has been here since 3 o'clock 
this morning, and like a trooper, <laughs> he's still here with us. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is right now. You're right, though, Chris. We're tracking a lot of action around here, and that's the elite or the back edge of that on the model version. This is a more enhanced version of the model, and this shows you the snow that's coming down here in Lexington, wind gust potential temperature, and also additional snowfall that we'll likely get in on as we head through the next several hours. Now, just watch as we go into the 8 o'clock hour. We start to obviously lose our warmth. Which there's really nothing out there, but we watch the temperatures drop. Maybe by this time, and by the way, this goes from uh, a run that started about two hours ago roughly or so, hours roughly ago. two hours ago. So from that point up until seven o'clock tomorrow morning, better than five and three quarters of an inch of snowfall additional to what we have out there with wind still howling 25 to 30 miles per hour. You throw that with that 21, 22 degrees and you're talking about some pretty tough wind chill. So you see by the time we get to noon tomorrow, 5.81 additional inches of, of snowfall. And, and again, that's going to be hit or miss. It's going to be very close to that. We'll certainly see more, but you can see most of it has fallen, but we still have at least four or five more inches possible as we head through the overnight hours. Chris, and as you noticed as well, you know, the, the heaviest stuff has passed through the area, but you could always run into a few of those pockets that could be even heavier. Yeah, and with the winds out there that will be gusting around uh, all the way through tomorrow, those gusts could be greater than 31 miles an hour. That will create some blowing and drifting of the snow. So it's hard to get true measurements of snow when you have a lot of blowing and drifting going on. The folks that told you it wasn't going to snow much, they're going to find uh, the areas that didn't that have the drift to the side of it. We go through the day tomorrow, and snow showers will continue through the afternoon, guys. Could be near zero as we go into Sunday morning. You know, if there, I guess there's any good news. You know, we had talked about a little bit of that uh, rain and, and freezing yeah, rain and yeah. sleet and ice. and Had it in far southern yeah. Kentucky for a time, but it wasn't a prolonged period. Yeah. Thank goodness. I'll take all this and we'll snow. We'll take, yeah. take a foot of snow over any type of ice any day. Absolutely. I Chris, agree. Thank you. All right. Madison County drivers facing plenty of challenges as well on the roads today. And another look at conditions there next. First Alert Weather is brought to you by Columbia Gas of Kentucky. Win $10,000 at Toyota on Nicholasville and pay off your holiday bills. Plus get 0% financing for 60 months. Hurry to Toyota Nicholasville. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth. Putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is having our huge annual floor model sale. Don't miss this opportunity to grab new furniture and mattresses at a fraction of store prices. Save up to 80% off select display models. Come early to get your best selection. LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com. The candidate from Cartown Kia can give people $8,000 off new Kia Optimus. What can you offer? Well, we have yesterday's coffee. <laughs> There's no debate. Get $8,000 off MSRP on all select new 2015 Kia Optimus in stock at Cartown Kia. Take home a new 2016 Kia Sorento SUV for only $189 per month. And if you have a job bringing home $350 per week, we want to approve your credit. We can do credit. We don't do credit. Don't debate it. Get to Cartown Kia. I don't want an ordinary funeral. I want my life to be celebrated. I've had such a full and blessed life, and I want everyone to know it. That's how I want to be remembered. When people leave my end-of-life celebration, I want them feeling uplifted. Contact Clark Legacy Center to plan your end-of-life celebration. $10,000 at Toyota on Nicholasville and pay off your holiday bills. Plus, get 0% financing for 60 months. Hurry to Toyota Nicholasville. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. Winter storm continues across central and eastern Kentucky as snowfall totals continue to rise. Now, if there's a little bit of good news, it's that the snowfall rates uh, compared to what we had earlier in the day simply are not as strong. L early today, we had snows roughly an inch or two per hour in some areas. Right now, we're a half inch 
or a little less in a few spots. Still, though, that's adding to what we have, and we'll see one more little enhancement into eastern Kentucky, guys, as we go through the next several hours. Well, Chris, heavy snow, of course, been falling throughout the day in Madison County, and it didn't take long there for roads to become dangerous. This afternoon, Madison County issued an emergency declaration asking people to stay home tonight. Caitlin Sentner was there earlier. The snow has just been constant in Madison County since we arrived earlier today, and unfortunately, still the road conditions have not gotten any better. You can see here on Main Street through Richmond, traffic has been moving, but the road still is not clear. There's been a fair amount of commuters on the roads throughout these last few hours, a lot of spinning tires and a lot of sliding. You're not getting anywhere quick in this weather. Snow plows have been out in full force in the city and throughout Madison County since around the time the storm began this morning. Madison County residents do have the ability to track where snow plows are in real time. The issue, though, is that at the pace the snow is falling, crews just can't keep the roads clear. They, they have been coming by, uh, I'd say, them probably two, three, four times. They, plus, there's other uh, odd trucks, you know, got plows in front of them. They come by every once in a while and sweep them. But as fast as this snow, man, it's coming right back up. We talked with the Madison County Sheriff's Department earlier today, and they said all has been pretty quiet, other than a couple of non injury collisions. We certainly hope everything stays quiet this evening. In Madison County, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Next on the CBS Evening News, Steve Hartman goes on the road to meet a man who risked everything for love. Hardy's presents the Red, White, and Boom Music Festival 2016. Jason Aldean, Church, Florida Georgia Line, Thomas Ross, Cole Swindell, Casey Musgraves, Red, White, and Boom.com. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth. Putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. Home security can be easier than you think. Whether you're a first time customer or you're unhappy with your current service, Bates simplifies security and makes switching your service to Bates easy. You keep your existing equipment and we do the rest. Switch your system today and get three months free monitoring. Recently named Central Kentucky Small Business of the Year. Bait Security, protecting what matters most. At WKYT, we stand for Kentucky. We stand for the people of this great commonwealth. We stand for hard work and for those who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. We stand for the little guy and we root for the underdog if we ever had to. We stand with Kentucky through hardships and through triumphs, through uncertainty and through tragedy. We stand for the big city and the rolling hills alike. And we stand for the one unifying factor that brings us all together, pride. Pride in our home state, in where we've been and in where we're going. At WKYT, we always have been and we always will be standing right here with you. WKYT stands for Kentucky. His job brings people together. I just want to make sure everybody's happy. But this boss. My father was the soul of our business. Has taken family. I'm here 80 hours a week. Out of a family business. I had a funeral and had to come to work. I know I'll never be able to fill my dad's shoes, but I'm trying. New Undercover Boss, CBS Tonight, or stream it live or on demand. This genius is as smooth as a time bomb. For the record, this is not the worst day that I've ever had. You think you've got a good answer? How about your panties? This is too much information. <laughs> Would you say it in front of your family? Name something that often lasts longer than you want it to. Work. A movie. Sex. <laughs> What would you say on Family Feud? Family Feud, one full hour starting at 7 on the CW Lexington.
programming note, uh, we're going to continue on the CW Lexington at 630, but the CBS Evening News coming up on KYT, so you have a choice, but we hope you join us on the CW for more live coverage of what's become a big day. And as for all of this snow, it is still snowing out there. It is, and you know what? We'll, we'll be saying that at 11 o'clock tonight, <laughs> too, and we'll be saying that tomorrow morning when you join us uh, for our morning coverage. We look at your Defender Radar Network. Notice the back edge of the snow, guys, is still back into southern Indiana. It's going to get to central Kentucky around 11 or 12 tonight, then stop and may actually work back to the west a little bit with light snows through tomorrow. Some areas two feet in eastern Kentucky. We'll see you on the CW Lexington.